20 net sushi. Today, we're gonna make this hedgehog. My version of uh, Baby Sonic, if you have watched the movie. I ran out of yellow yarn, so I couldn't make a yellow sunflower. So, make it a colorful sunflower. So, do you like my Sonic? Okay, let's make some hedgehog today. For this project, we're going to use a 3.5 mm hook. And you will need uh, safety eyes, safety nose. Uh, flowers are optional if you want. I can have a tutorial video on the flowers as well. And But first, we're going to start with this part. We're going to do the uh, loop stitch first. Actually, we I made this first and this is a separate thing. I made the loop stitch like a wig. So, stitch it on to this amigurumi. Stitch it on to these stuffed toys. So, we have to do this first. Then, we have to do this first. And, might as well, we do the ear and hands and all that. And, we do this. Why? Because halfway through, we need the nose on the muscle before we can connect. Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay, for tutorial, I'm not going to use blue color because this color is kind of hard to see the stitches. So I'm going to use yellow for the loop stitch. Okay, we're going to start with a magic ring. You put your hand here, curl it in your hand, make sure there's an X here. Okay, make six single crochet in the ring. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I'm going too fast, you need revision. You can go back to my basic stitches videos. I have videos about magic ring, single crochet, double crochet. Okay, so now the first row we do single crochet. The second row onwards, we're going to do the loop stitch. So, now for the uh, pattern, written pattern, I'm going to write increase, single crochet, increase, or decrease. But I will not tell you the loop, but actually it's a loop stitch. So, you put your hook into that first stitch here. Use your thumb, hold it down, yarn over the other way. Oops. Okay, let's try again. Thumb down. Okay, hold it down because we need to do increase means the same stitch we're gonna do two single crochet which is actually two loops use your thumb hold it down yarn over the opposite way and do like a single crochet so this is two you can actually see the stitches here. Add a marker. To remind myself where's the starting point. So I'm going to do increase 
all around. Make sure when you yarn over, you yarn over the other way, not this way, the other way. One, two, three, four. Okay, one. You can actually see the stitches very clearly. You push all this down, you can see all the stitches and make sure all this loop faces us. So one, two, three, four, in case I lost count. One, two, three, four. So I did two increase. Now I'm gonna do the third one. Make sure you put your hook through first before you use your thumb to hold the yarn down. When the hole, when the ring is small, it's kind of difficult to hold. Once it gets bigger, then it's easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this one I'm going to double. Okay, then count the stitches. You're supposed to have 12 stitches all around. So this is where I start. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I have 12 stitches all around. That is row 2. Now we go to row 3. Row 3, we're gonna do one single crochet followed by an increase. Okay, so here, this marker is to mark my starting point. So in case you get confused because of all this dangling here, I'm going to add marker to remind us where to increase. So here, this is a single crochet, this is going to be an increase. Single crochet, increase. Means it's one single crochet followed by one increase. All together you're going to get 6 sets. So all in, you're going to get 18 stitches all around. No doubt, you see like it's just alternate alternate uh, stitch. Means one increase, one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet. If you are doing single crochet, it's easy to see. But if you are doing loop stitch, <laughs> not really. Sometimes I get confused. I got lost. Okay, now the middle part here, can you notice? Just now we make the magic ring. Now it's covered up. All this loop has somehow closed up on the middle part. But actually, if you search, you go and open it up. It's still there. The magic ring is still there. But of course, close it up. So that no one will know where we start. Okay, now we're gonna do row three. Row three, we're gonna do single crochet followed by an increase. All this loop, pull it down.
add a marker as this is my starting I see a marker which means I need to do an increase and single crochet Single crochet, hold all this down. Increase, increase means two single crochet in the same stitch, which also means two hook, two hook stitch in the same stitch. Okay, single crochet. Increase. Single crochet, oops. Increase. In case you forgot to do it this way, you do this way, you will end up here double loop. And you see it got tangled here. So that's why it got tangled here, which makes it, which will slow us down. So that's why, okay, I'm doing an increase. So that's why you put your hook in, push it down, go through the other way. Now for this lock, you do it the normal way. This you have to get some practice and you get used to it, and then you will know when your hook will go this way or that way, or when you get stuck, it will somehow tell you you get you went through the wrong way. I mean, once it's stuck, you can actually pull it through, but it's quite difficult because. There's a double loop there. Okay, I'm supposed to do an increase. I have to pull it to see where is my next. Where is the increase? Okay, now all the stitches. For this pattern, even though we have all this all this uh, loop stitch but we can still see this stitch very clearly so now we should have um, I should have 18 stitches all around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay I have 18 can you see you can see it very clearly so all this you push it down so now for row four we're going to do two single sorry single crochet in the next two followed by an increase you do this six times six sets so here is our starting since we have counted i got the number of stitch correct 18 so now row four you're going to have 24 stitches all around so row four what you're going to do we're going to stitch two single crochet means one single crochet, two single crochet, 
followed by an increase. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. I find this way is really useful when it comes to amigurumi. So chances of making mistake has minimized. One, two, almost zero. One, two. I used to make amigurumi with no marker. I thought like it's so easy, just go ahead and follow. How can I go wrong when like, like, there's just two stitch a gap? Two stitch gap or three stitch gap. I don't think I'll go wrong. But as said, when you crochet, I mean with things like this, when you need to change color or when you have all this loop stitch hanging around, you will get confused. So it's best to invest in some markers. If you do not have marker, maybe you can use safety pin, bobby pin, hair pin. So now I make sure there are six sets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there are six. So now I'm gonna start row four. So this uh, loop stitch, if you want to stop halfway. You better make sure you put a marker here so that you know which one is the start thing. <laughs> because there's so many loops here, you might not know which is the one. Well, you can find, but you need time, right? Might as well put a stitch there. Okay, let's start. So now I'm supposed to do. Okay, all this, hold it down so that you can see this clearly. You make sure you put your hook in first, the spot where you need to do a single crochet or a dub or increase. We can itch it. I will teach you how to do decrease as well. Now we're doing increase. Later on, there'll be a decrease. Okay, mark. To mark where I start, get it one, two, increase, same stitch again because it's an increase. Single crochet and increase then two single crochet. Once you get a hang of it, you can go fast. Okay, this is an increase. In case I get lost, I always count back from the marker. Marker should be an increase. So in between, there are two single crochet. So I'll know where I am now. So single crochet. Single crochet. Or I should call it loop stitch. Now, increase.
single crochet increase single crochet single crochet and the last increase Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this round I should have 24 stitches. Oh, sorry, 24 stitches all around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I have 24 stitches all around. So the next round, round row 5, and supposed to do three single crochet followed by an increase so one two three one two three increase one two three increase so my marker marks the place where I'm in, going to increase one two three increase one two three increase one two three increase one two three and the last one is always an increase okay this row five we're supposed to get 30 stitches all around so this is the starting point starting three single crochet let me add my marker to mark where i start if you think i've gone too fast you couldn't catch you can go back to my basic videos there's one on loop stitch okay now to do an increase Okay, and you carry on, 3, increase, 3, increase, until you come back here, all in, you're going to have 6 sets, and all in, you're going to have 30 stitches. Okay, now we are at row 6. Row 6, uh, yeah, before this, I keep mentioning single crochet, my apology, these are not single crochet, these are loop stitch, so... Before this, I mentioned single crochet, single crochet, increase. Actually, what I meant was loop stitch, loop stitch, increase. Increase in loop stitch also. So, my previous single crochet is actually loop, loop stitch. Yeah? So, from now on, I shall mention loop stitch. So, row 6. You are supposed to do 4 loop stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4. Followed by an increase. Four loop stitch. One, two, three, four. Followed by a, an increase. Increase means two loop stitch in one stitch. All in, you should get six sets. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the starting. So just now the magic ring tail says hide it inside here. Anyway, this is an amigurumi. Okay. 
once the piece get bigger it's easier to make the loop stitch and it's small it's kind of hard to hold on to it okay there's a loop here got lost come back to the front make sure all the loop stays in front oh sorry loop stitch add a marker pull all the loop down make sure you have four loop stitch before then increase one two three four four loop stitch followed by an increase increase means two loop stitch in one one two in the same stitch I've seen some, instead of using the thumb, they use, they use this finger to hold the loop and use another thumb which I find it quite um, confusing because if you're not using the thumb, if you're using your index finger, your loop will face the other side, not facing you. So when you loop face the other side and you're making amigurumi which means that you have to work like this you have to work this way where all your loops face the other side but when i use my thumb all my loop face me and it's easier to count and i'm not sure i mean if you're used to not using your thumb and use this finger instead uh you can do it your way but all your loops will face the other side, right? Okay, so now do an increase. Oops, sorry. A loop stitch. A loop increase. So once you get a hang of it, you can go very fast. Just like single crochet. Okay, you continue in the same manner and come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. Okay, now we are at row 7. Row 7 from the start here, here, until here, you're gonna have 18 stitches. 18 loop stitch one each yeah? 18 loop stitch one each and starting from here this is not an increase huh? this is one two increase one two increase so this is a one two increase this is one set so one two three four five six so we're gonna have six sets of two single crochet uh, sorry two loop stitch followed by an increase so from here until here 18 loop stitch and two more before we do an increase so all in you're gonna get 42 stitches all around Don't forget to add your marker. So 
so long you hold this loop down do not let go until you have hook, put your hook through the next stitch you will not get lost you will not be unsure whether it's here or here so you thumb pull it down yarn over here leave it there go to the next one the minute you let go your hand you will not be sure whether it's here or here because this one looks like a v-shape too but actually here it's taken and one thing for loop stitch it's very hard to count back where is the last uh, increase because you cannot really see unlike single crochet you can at just a glance you might know you did an increase but this one I find it hard to find my increase <gasps> whoops I almost put through the other loop that's so why I hold it before you hook it into the next stitch Okay, once I've reached my marker, the first marker is the start of the set. The set is two loop stitch followed by an increase. So this is not an increase. This is another two loop stitch. One and this is an increase okay you continue in this manner I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row okay now we are at row 8 row 8 same thing from here until here 18 18 loop stitch means each loop stitch one each stitch here one loop stitch so from here until here 18 and here until here 3 this is not an increase this is 1 2 3 3 this is an increase and then there's a gap of 1 2 3 increase 1 2 3 increase and all in you're gonna get 6 sets one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you're still not used to this loop stitch, no worry. This is the second last row. Yeah. We're gonna end this soon. Hang in there. Okay. Okay, at my marker. And I put double marker just to make sure this is the starting end. And this is different from the other marker. <gasps> 
you do 18 of this and you reach the marker you have to do three more and you're gonna get 48 stitches all around Okay, my first stitch is not an increase. I need to do three more. One, two, three. Followed by an increase. That is one set. And you continue. I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. Okay, this is the last row. So from here, the starting until here, we do 18 loops each. After 18, we do four more. One, two, three, four. This is not an increase, just another four more uh, loop stitch. Then we do an increase so there's a four space gap here four loop stitch before the next increase another four loop stitch increase so same thing you're gonna have six sets this is how it looked like at the back and this is how it looked like in front see if you really search for it you can still find the slip stitch the magic ring so cover up let's do some cover up okay now let's start this is the last part After this, I think I'll do the muzzle first. Okay, my first marker to indicate the start of the set means I need to do four more.
now and increase. Oh yeah, sorry, there's no decrease for this pattern. Well, if you want to learn how to do a decrease with a loop stitch, you can go to my basic basic stitch tutorial. There I will teach you how to do increase and decrease. I forgot this particular pattern does not have a decrease, only increase. Okay, I'll come back to you once I'm at the end of the row. Okay, I've completed. So you should have 54 stitches all around. And leave a very long tail. Why? Because we're gonna sew this onto the hedgehog. You will notice that it will curve in a certain way. Here it's kind of like larger, here it will like curve. So actually we're gonna crochet one hedgehog and sew it on like this. Sew it onto the hedgehog. So later we're gonna do muzzle. The muzzle you're gonna need a slightly darker color than the body if you want. If not you can use by the same color but different color at least it's very obvious and it's more cute. For the hand and the feet it's up to you whether you want to use the body's color or because this one I want it to look more like sonic so that's why I used white and red shoes if not you can actually use back the same color as the body it can stand on its own okay now we're gonna do the muzzle we're gonna do a magic ring yeah problem doing the magic ring you can refer to my basic stitch for beginners okay inside the magic ring I'm gonna do six single crochet one two three four five six six single crochet Pull this to seal it. Okay, for row two, I'm gonna do single crochet and increase three sides of that. Means this one, this is a single crochet. Add a marker to show where I start. And here, increase. Single crochet, increase, increase means two single crochet in one, single crochet, followed by an increase. So all in, we'll have nine stitches. So now the last row, last row is Two single crochet means one, two, followed by an increase. So one, two, increase. Increase. Okay. 
I'm gonna leave a long tail for sewing. You can cut your yarn. Leave a long tail for sewing. And the tail for the magic ring, you just hide it inside. So this is the muscle. I'm gonna add a safety nose. This safety nose you can actually turn it if you do not like this way or this way. Okay, normally I'll put it in the middle. And I'm gonna seal it. normally seal it together with those extra yarns inside so this is seal it's locked okay i'm gonna leave this aside now we're gonna do the ears okay now we should make the ear i have already i have one here i make one more i'm gonna use the body with a lighter color the ears and the muscles are Dark, slightly darker color well it depends whether you want to use it use the same color it's up to you now same like before you need to do a magic ring magic ring you need to learn how to hold this ring here so now we need to do six single crochet inside the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull it to seal the hole here. Now we need to do a single crochet followed by an increase. Single crochet. I'll just add a marker to know where I start. Single crochet. Increase. Single crochet. Increase single crochet increase so all in you're gonna get nice stitches so as I when you crochet this hole gets bigger let's pull it tight okay and this is the ear now Leave a long tail for sewing. For the ear, we cannot hide this magic ring tail inside because the ear stays like this. The ear stays like this. There's no two layer or anything to hide. So, we have to hide this tail before we sew the ear on so you use a needle you can hide it somewhere here first if it's very long like mine you hide it around here make sure it's not visible just hide it around here hide it inside this is this is the inside okay you hide it in between all these stitches because these stitches are all very tight so if you hide it here chances of it coming out is very slim pull so if you want to make very sure you can do one more time 
just about anywhere just put your needle in first then put the thread over and pull and there you have it since I've hide it so well now the end here I can cut it so now you have an ear so here is for sewing and the ear will look like this this is the outside and the ear will look like this okay so now we have two ears <laughs>